Panty Panthers. We're officially back in the studio, which means back to our regular production schedule. So without further ado, are you ready to raise your pulse? Because, because we start right now. Welcome back. I'm Serenity. I'm Effie. And I'm Kaya. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving break. There's only 16 days left of school. Which means three weeks until midterms. In that case, I better start studying. First, let's get through these announcements. Remember at the beginning of the month, there was the Day of the Dead Ofrenda competition that took place? I do. Who won? Daniela Hernandez, Juan Mora, and Yasmin Hernandez got first place. Carmen Castrina and Crystal Maldonado got second place. And Merlin Amador and Celine Herrera got third place. Great job to everyone who participated and thanks to all those who voted. A couple weeks ago, some students participated in a competition with cardboard boats that they created. Let's see how that went. Our winners of this year's cardboard boat race are Michaela Morris and Alex Swain, coming in first with their boat, Milk Dud, that held 10 people before it sank. Congratulations. In second place, Eugene Ellsworth Bowers and Kate Garrison with their boat, Fuchsia. Then in third place, Christy Brandstetter and Riley Linden with their boat, Fastest Pookie Wookie Bear in the World. Our most spirited team was Jaden James and Gavin Morin with their boat, Spooderman leaving Sapio's class with the trophy of 2023. And special thanks to all who showed up and participated. Dang it, Emma, with everything going on at JRTC, we forgot a couple things last week. You're kidding, right? I almost had to go on oxygen after the last update. What on earth did we forget? Well, we left at our JRT leadership and academic Fuller J Lab. Our teams competed in a virtual comp with over 1,700 JRT programs around the world. The leadership team made up of Volani Karowski, Hayden Reed, Mallory David, and Dave Fagan. Competed on November 14th, then on November 16th, the Academic Bowl competed. Those cadets were Paxton Omen, Cara Bayel, Joe Schneider, and Cody McCollin. We are anxiously awaiting the results for those competitions. Qualifying teams will go to the second elimination round in February. Then come June, the top 40 teams will go to the national championships in Washington, D.C. Oh, that reminds me. We also kind of left out the community service we did for the Puente de Hojo Cultural Fair, also on the 16th. Our combined Coco Flag High Color Guard opened up the festivities by presenting the flags for the pledge in three languages, while other cadets served as ushers, guides, and security. We also have a blood drive coming up in December. We'll be on December 13th at 1 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Located in the North Commons at Kokomin High School. Okay, did we forget anything else? Probably, but that's all for now. We would like to say congratulations to the marching bands for getting second place in state. Great work, everyone. Also, on Tuesday, December 5th, Band and orchestra will have their concert in the auditorium from 5 to 9 p.m. Seniors, it's time to turn in your senior pictures. The last day to submit them is Wednesday, December 6th. Upload them to the link on the screen before then to get your picture in the yearbook. On Saturday, Native American Club is hosting a Winter Bazaar. It's from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. in the South Commons and Cafeteria. Come check it out! Hi, I'm Ava Rios, I'm the president of Coconino's Theatre Club, and I'm here to let you know that auditions for our first ever cabaret are December 11th in the main auditorium at 3 p.m. Come prepared with up to 90 seconds of a song or monologue to audition with. See you all there! Hey, what are you doing? Writing my attendance probation letter. You know you don't write letters for attendance probation, right? What? Yep, what you do instead is scan a QR code at the attendance office or in room 403 and complete a questionnaire. Really? Yes, really. Now remember, the due date to complete the questionnaire is November 29th, so get it done right away. And make sure to answer the questions as honestly as possible. And if you're unsure whether you're on attendance probation or have any other additional questions, go see Ms. Lightbody at the attendance office. Good luck, Panthers. Panthers, imagine immersing yourself from the vibrant culture of Costa Rica, surrounded by beautiful rainforests, stunning beaches, and friendly locals. Yes, the upcoming educational trip to Costa Rica in the summer of 2025 gives students the opportunity to experience life in a Spanish-speaking country, learn the culture and values, and explore nature. If you're interested in joining this unforgettable journey, use the QR code to register and attend the informational session on Friday, December 1st in room 107. We'll discuss the cost and any questions you may have. Plus, there is an exciting bonus. We'll have pizza. Feel free to reach out to Ms. Torres' email. Hasta pronto. See you soon. 
Winter sports has officially started. Let's see how that's going. Wesley, have you noticed it's been really cold outside lately? It was 30 yeah. degrees a few days ago. It's true. I mean, it's starting to get really cold, which is good for hockey. Speaking of which, the Coyotes are doing much better this season. I'm also happy that there's football and basketball going on, you know? In college football, conference championship weekend for the NCAA. Let's go, Iowa, and that that's the only team I'm hoping for. <laughs> well, I mean, I doubt the majority of our viewers know what we're talking about, so... Why don't we get right into sports? Yeah, that's a good idea. What's up, everyone? I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. And, and this is Panther Sports. Welcome back, everyone. After taking last week off, I'm ready to get into sports. Wesley, you ready? Indeed I am. All right, well, let's get right into it with football. Varsity football had their first round matchup against Arcadia a few weeks ago, which they unfortunately lost 23 to 20 and were eliminated. However, football had a really great season, so congratulations to football. Now, let's go to hockey. The three Avalanche teams had two games each these past few weeks against Mountain Ridge and Centennial. JV went 2-0, D2 had one win and a tie, and D1 went 1-1. One one. Good job to all three teams for winning their games but three more goals now for girls basketball girls basketball had a game two weeks ago against seton catholic prep jv won their game 41 to 23 against the sentinels and varsity lost 62 to 39. good job to jv on their win and seeing how it's only the first game of the season varsity has multiple chances to come back now for boys basketball. Varsity boys basketball had a tournament this past week during Thanksgiving break. They went 0-3 against the three teams they had played. However, there's so much time left in the that's season. True. There is. And it's only the tournament. Well, it looks like that's it for results. Now for upcoming games. Wrestling has their first match of the season against Apache Junction, Lake Havasu, and ALA Queen Creek. And it will be at ALA Queen Creek Academy at 4 p.m. today. Good luck to wrestling. Now for hockey. The Avalanche has one game each this week at Peoria Ice Rink in the North Ring. JV starts it off at 1.30 against Pinnacle, D2 at 3.05 p.m. against Notre Dame Prep, and D1 at 4.40 p.m. against Pinnacle. Good luck to hockey, now for boys soccer. Boys soccer has their first game of the season against Estrella Foothills on Monday at Kermer Stadium. JV starts at one and Varsity starts at three. Good luck to boys soccer, and now for girls soccer. Girls soccer has their first games of the season this week. The first is on Friday against Barry Goldwater here at Kermer Stadium, with JV at one and Varsity at three. The other game is at Estrella Foothills at their field on Monday with JV at four and varsity at six. Good luck to girls soccer, now for girls basketball. Girls basketball has two games this week as well. The first is on Thursday against Thunderbird at their high school, while their other game is on Monday against Apollo also at their high school. Start times for these three teams are freshmen at four, JV at 530, and varsity at seven. Good luck to girls basketball this week, now for boys basketball. Boys basketball has three games this week. The first is on Thursday against Thunderbird at our gym. The second game is the following day against St. Catholic Prep at their school. And the final game is a home game on Monday against Apollo. Start times for these three teams our freshman at 4, JV at 5.30, and varsity at 7. Good luck to boys basketball. Well, that is it for this week, so join us next week for more games, Panthers. Let's go watch some NHL right now. I bet I'm down. Well, we got a game to go watch, so we'll see y'all soon. Go Coyotes! That's all for this week. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Face your fears, Panthers. Rawr! Rawr. The three Avalanche teams had two games each these past few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chris, that is it for this week. So join us next week for more games, Panthers. Let's go watch some NHL right now. I bet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> that was not on purpose. <laughs>